hey guys so i was about to do some like cleaning a little bit of like reorganizing and i figured i would just like pick up the camera so today what i'm reorganizing is this cabinet right here so right to the left of the sink i had all of her baby products but this cabinet was just way too small so i'm moving it to this one right here which we don't use i don't use probably 70 percent of the cabinets that i have in this kitchen because it's just so much cabinet space i I don't need all this cabinet space so I'm gonna move all of her stuff to here so um, I just wanted to show you guys like pretty much what we have so this is her cooler so if we're ever traveling somewhere and I need to like keep her milk cool then I will use this so I'm gonna put this up here kind of like tuck it away then I also have this um, this care package from Similac. I didn't toss it out because you just never know if you may need it or anything. So I still have this. And then I also have this, um, we were actually using this Infamil supplement when she was really, really small. Like when she first came home from the hospital, she had to get this. So we have extra of that. I can probably toss this box out now. Um, and then this is the same Similac, but it's just in like travel packages, which is really cute. Also, when I signed up for Bye Bye Baby's registry, they gave us this. And of course, she's not on solids yet. So I've always had it packaged up, but it's a freezer food tray for baby food. So like if I wanted to puree her own food and then put it in these little freeze cubes, then I will. So I'm going to actually put this up here. We won't need that for a while either. Um, and then these, we actually haven't used these Komotomo bottles. So I don't know if I, I don't know if I ever told you guys, wait, what else is this? 150. I don't know if I ever told you guys, but the Como Tomo bottles are the bottles that we register for. The reason being is because the bottom is silicone, so it's supposed to mimic the feel of a breast. And you know, Anaya is at that age that like when I'm breastfeed when I'm breastfeeding now, she's like grabbing my, my breast as she feeds. So this will feel like more like a breast. And they say that this is supposed to mimic more so you know a natural nipple which it kind of does like now that i'm looking at it it kind of does like mimic the nipple she was small we tried to give her these and she did not like the nipple very well so that's why we bought the dr browns but now she's actually about to grow out of the dr browns bottles because she's drinking a lot more now so we might try these out before we buy more dr browns and then we got these um, nipple replacements as well. And then you guys know these are the really teeny, teeny, tiny bottles that she had when she was a preemie when she first came home. Oh, wait, I got another thing of nipples. Oh, wow, I didn't realize. So we got zero to three months, three months, and then six plus months. Cool. These are the really tiny bodies that she had when she was um when she came home from the hospital and then we have these which are just additional brush heads that I have when we want to rotate them out. So I'm going to just like <sighs> pop all this stuff. I'm going to keep this stuff here closer to the front because I feel like if I needed this, we would use this more. I don't know. I'll put these up there. Um, bottles can go here. And then I'll put these bottles at the top. These are just literally, literally for sentimental purposes. <laughs> she is never going to drink out of these. And you never know, like if you have a friend or something like that, that comes over and needs like an extra bottle or something, you just never know. Sometimes when we were like fresh, 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 new, new parents, we forgot stuff all the time. So it's nice when you can kind of like look out for your friends if they need your help. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there. So bam, this is now gonna be her little closet, I mean her cabinet, and as she gets older and she has like more stuff, like cups and forks and stuff like that, of course this will get bigger and we may relocate it to a different cabinet, but for right now, this is fine. And maybe we'll start keeping, like when she does have like plates and cups and stuff, we might start keeping that in here and keep like bottles and stuff in here. So I don't know. So since we've moved in, we have completely abandoned this mudroom area. I honestly have no idea what are in these two boxes that we have not unpacked since we moved in. Um, but I'm about to go through these and see what's in here. Move things out of the way that can be moved out of the way. And like um, 
get together our shoes and put them in these little cubby holes because this is no longer working. Oh, I never knew love would come and find me, find me one day. Oh, I never knew that you would be the one heading my way. Yeah. Oh, you caught me off guard and you took me back. Took me back. Okay, I finally got this section together. It looks so much better, and I don't have to see all that junk when we walk in. Now that this is clear. Maybe we should put like a mirror there or a mirror here so that we can see ourselves when we walk out to make sure we are put together. I really probably don't want to touch the space because I don't know what we're going to do with this space actually. Surprise. now i'm about to clean this little tray and i want to swap out this is actually a winter candle snowflakes and citrus so i want to swap this one out for a more like spring or summer appropriate candle okay, so i was telling you guys before that i didn't know where to keep the candles so i winded up just keeping them here underneath the kitchen sink um i still don't even know if this is going to be the permanent home for them but for right now this is where it's going to stay so i'm gonna just sit you guys <laughs> I'm gonna just sit you under this here and we're gonna figure out. Let me just pan you guys down a little bit. We're gonna figure out what candle to burn. Okay, so we're getting into the summer scent. Okay, I, I remember we really liked Island Margarita. Oh, this smells amazing. Okay, let me sit aside Island Margarita Mango Mai Tai. Mango Mai Tai smells okay. Frozen Lake. That's a winter candle. Bergamot Waters. Mm. bergamot water smells good this probably like belongs in the bathroom or something actually i might take this upstairs to go in our master bath snickerdoodle is a false scent caramel drizzle is a false scent to say to you, I'm, I'm an open